President Moon Jae-in visited a local solar panels manufacturer, Hanwha Q-Cells, on Thursday to show support as U.S. safeguard measures seem to uh, will have a detrimental impact on the local industry. The president vowed to provide extra support to those hit hardest by Washington's move. Moon Gon Yong reports. South Korean President Moon Jae-in's first visit to one of the nation's top 10 largest firms, a local manufacturer of photovoltaic solar cells affiliate of a South Korean conglomerate, the Hano Group. The left of center president has been an advocate of the nation's SMEs over large conglomerates known as Chebols in South Korea, pledging to abandon what he called the country's Chebol-focused growth strategy. So the president's visit to this production facility of the solar panel maker Hanwha Q-Cells came as a surprise to many. We enjoyed the largest market share in the U.S. last year. This year, we expect our U.S. sales to shrink by 50 percent from our initial estimates. The South Korean president was referring to the U.S. President Donald Trump signing into law last week a 30 percent tariff on imported solar panels, billed as a way to protect American jobs, but dealing a heavy blow to non-U.S. manufacturers of solar panels, including Hanwha Q-cells. Mr. Moon also vowed to speed up the use and development of clean, renewable energy in Asia's fourth largest economy. But the primary reason behind his visit to this conglomerate, the president said, was because Hanwha Q-Cells deserves praise and recognition for its job-sharing efforts. Upon agreement between the management and the labor union, Hanwha Q-Cells recently added 500 new employees to its 1,500-strong workforce, while cutting down the average working hours from 56 to 42 hours per week. Our companies, if we can work together, we can work together, we can work together, we can work together, we can work Win Gonyo, Arirang News.